All right, good evening, lad. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. We'll call on you one at a time. We'll get started with Connor Riley and Palmer Tones. Hey, lad, I want to ask you the impact that getting George Pickens back on the field now, how important is that for you guys? And what does he sort of bring to this offense as he continues to get healthier? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's a phenomenal player. Just the, what I mean, what he can do on any given play is, is special. I mean, going out there, just doing his thing, having fun. Y'all know how George is, just going out there, doing his thing and just making plays. And he's, he has a huge impact on our offense. Yeah, lad, as you look at this Alabama secondary, uh, what is it that stands out to you about them on film? Uh, I mean, overall, they're they're a really good team. I mean, whole, their whole defense, are, they're really good. I mean, they got a, a bunch of good athletes, um, physical, can run. So, I mean, uh, I'm looking forward to getting out there and competing with them. So, I mean, just – but overall, they're they a really good defense, and it's going to be going to be a battle. Next, we'll go to Jake Rowe and David Pascal. Hey, lad. Uh, speaking of George, how how has he looked in practice to you? Is he has he looked like old, his old self, or or is uh, and is he working himself back into it? What, what? You, you cut out there. Then what was that? I'm sorry. I said, what's it been like? Um. I, okay. I, he kind of cut out again, but I mean, he's he's obviously working his way back again. I mean, it takes a little bit to kind of get his rhythm back, but. The, I mean, just going out there and he's he's the same George. I mean, making plays all over the field, having fun, just letting loose. And I mean, he's going to be the same no matter what. Lad, a couple of years ago, you were the Swiss Army knife for North Murray last year, scout team. I know you're kind of week by week, you know, trying to focus on it. But do you ever like pull back and just kind of pinch yourself about the year you've had? And now you're on this stage against Alabama. Uh, I mean, it really is crazy. I was talking to my uh, receiver coach from high school, just like it's, it's something special we have going on right here, just kind of going into the SC championship and just kind of us and uh, having the opportunity we have. It, re it really is something awesome. And I mean, it's something we definitely are not taking for granted. So I mean, just kind of going day by day and just finishing this thing out strong. A real quick follow, how in the world are you getting all of your family and friends uh, from Chatsworth in? I, I imagine you only get so many tickets you can use. How on earth are you going to try to fit everybody? I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So, I mean, I, I got my, my family first and my girlfriend, and then we'll see how everything else goes from that. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Jed May, then Jake Jennings. Yeah, lad, um, kind of following up on that scout team discussion, I mean, obviously Stetson, that's where he started his career. Do you ever kind of – like, what, do you have maybe a little different perspective on the journey he's taken just from, you know, a guy that started in the same place? Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely. It's – obviously you want to come in your freshman year. Everybody wants to. Everybody wants to come in and play, be the man. I mean, because a bunch of kids on our team were – I mean, you're, you're one of the best players, if not the best player on your high school team. So coming in and kind of taking a step back and – just kind of taking a year to develop. It's 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 hard at times, but I mean, you just gotta you got something you gotta do, and uh, just uh, trust that it's all gonna pay off in the end. So I definitely kind of feel where, like some of the stuff he went through. So, but I mean, it, it all works out in the end. Hey, lad. Um, we all know how successful Alabama's been, and and how big of a program that is. Is is there something in the air at practice this week that makes it feel a little different, or is it just kind of business as usual preparing for this game? Uh, I mean, I would say business as usual. I mean, obviously we understand the, the impact this game has. I mean, uh, I mean, it's, it's huge. SC Championship is always huge. So, I mean, we understand what we got to do and, and how we got to approach it. But, I mean, we're, we're just taking it day by day and having the same mentality we've had all year. Next we'll go to Chip Towers and Lance McCurley. Yeah, lad. I, uh... First, I think, I, I guess I'll ask you, you know, I mean, uh, how's Kiaris doing uh, at this point in the week? We hadn't heard much about it since uh, Monday, I guess. And and um, just when it comes to um, the stage that you're on Saturday, uh, would, would you – the the setup is that, you know, Georgia's number one. They could even lose this game and still make it to the playoff. I'm pretty sure that's not the way you guys look at it, though. But would you – would you characterize this team as being um, loose or, or uh, I don't know, how would you de describe I mean, the, the, the team? Definitely not. We're not loose. I mean, we're, we're approaching this week like any other week. I mean, we, we have, we're trying to make a statement. So, I mean, just going out there and competing our, 
you know, like competing to the best of our ability and just kind of really let, letting it all, letting it all out. So, I mean, we're not approaching this game with the mindset that all, oh, if we lose, we can still get in the playoffs. We're trying to try to make a statement and keep this thing going. And, and again, if, how's your brother Kiaris? I mean, I know when you go to, you go to war, so to speak, metaphorically, you want all your soldiers. Oh yeah. I mean, he's out there competing, uh, practicing like, like he always does. So, I mean, we're, we're confident in him and in his ability. So I know he's going to go out there and, and do his thing. Thank you. Well, I apologize for the background noise. I'm in the segment, but if you can hear me, I know you grew up kind of a Tennessee fan, with your grandfather and everything, but do you recall where you were? And did you watch those, that 2017, 18 national championship game? And then, uh, the 2018 SEC championship when Georgia came close in both both games? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I really remember the 2017, 2018 game. I was at my buddy's house. They're all Georgia fans. So kind of sitting there just really just kind of spectating, watching watching good football. So I remember that. And, I mean, obviously the, those guys came up a little short. But, I mean, the way they competed, that's something that we're trying to do and just kind of get follow their footsteps and finish it off the right way. Next, we'll go with Tyler Griffith and Davis Baker. Hey, Coach Mar mentioned earlier in the week how he likes to simulate adversity in practice with some competition. He gave us an example of two-point, you know, best of five competition. Just how competitive do these periods get? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, sometimes they have to tell us, to, like, come on, guys, relax a little bit. But, I mean, we're, we're out there, I mean, competing, trying to get better. And I feel like that really kind of what's help us, what helps us translate over to the game. I mean, one offense going against the one defense every day, two offense, two defense. So, I mean, we're out there, out there getting after it every day. So, I mean, it really helps us translate over to the game. When you, when you practice like that, I mean, it makes the games uh, a lot easier. Lad, earlier this week, Stetson talked about how much better he thinks he's gotten since the last time he played Alabama. Could you just talk about the confidence that you guys as receivers have in him and how it's grown over oh, this yeah. year? Yeah, I mean, definitely just the way he approaches the game. I mean, from film study to staying after practice and, getting extra uh, – us running extra routes for him and just kind of getting those extra mental reps and throws and just – just the, really the way he approaches everything. I mean, he's, he goes with a pro mindset. Uh, I mean, wanting to be the best he can be. So, I mean, that's that's the big thing. He doesn't want to lay anybody down. So, just him going out there and really his, his confidence what's helped him a lot, just uh, believing in himself and just believing in his ability. So, I mean, and we all do too, and he knows that. So, I think that that's a big thing. Okay, we'll go to Patrick Garbin and then open it up for the final two questions. Sean, I'm good. All right, thank you. Okay, we'll open it up for the last two questions for Lad. If anyone would like to jump in. All right, Lad, I think you're good. Thank you for your time this evening. Yeah, thank you.